Good morning. Today we're going to do a hero inspired painting project. These are my materials. I have some paper, poster board I picked up at the dollar store, and three types of Dollar Tree paint, and one package of necklaces. And I'm gonna show you a little found art painting technique. So I picked the stars because it reminded me of our troops and the military that are our heroes also. So the first thing I'm going to do is to pour the paint in some of my little paper bowls here. So I'm gonna pour, oops, a little blop of paint in each bowl. And I am wearing a pair of plastic gloves just because it's a good thing to do. So I'm just gonna work with purple, red, and yellow. Some very cheerful, cheerful colors. Come on. There. Get a little bit of yellow. Oh, whoops. So much for that tablecloth. Now, I'm gonna take these necklaces and I'm gonna cut through so I have just single strands. So I'm gonna cut here, here, and here. And what I'm going to do is drop this in the purple paint. That's why I'm wearing gloves. And pour some more paint over it and just let it sit in the paint for a second. And I'm gonna put the red and the yellow just so I don't get confused. I'm really just kind of cover it with paint. And then I'm gonna take the blue one and stick it in the red and just cover it with some paint. Oops, come on. Ooh, what a mess. All right, now, I'm just kind of like rotate the bowl like this because centrifugal force, which is the force of gravity in a circular manner is gonna pretty well cover the necklace with paint. And what I'm going to do is dip it the other way too, do a little shake. And then I'm gonna find the end of my necklace And I'm just going to in a, make an S on my paper. And I'll lift this up to show you what it looks like. I just got my fingers over everything. Kind of looks like this. I just laid it down in an S pattern. Now, of course, I have purple paint all over my gloves, but that's okay. I'm gonna take my red necklace and do the same thing and shake it up. And I'm gonna take the red necklace, and you can do this with multi strands, but I'm just kind of demonstrating. And I'm kind of layering it like a seahorse look underneath the purple. And then I'm gonna take the yellow strand and make sure I shake that up, because now my gloves are really full of paint. I got some red paint in that yellow too. And I'm just gonna layer it next to the red paint. Now I've seen this done with like up to 10 strands of beading. I wouldn't do it with your mom's good necklaces, but Dollar Tree, you can get like six things of beads for a buck. Really reasonable. Now what I'm going to do, that my hands are full of paint and I should have brought another pair of gloves, but I didn't. So I'm gonna try to get some of the paint off is I'm gonna grab the end of each of the necklaces and I'm just gonna pull them straight off the paper, kind of like this, and just pull. And drag, 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 drag. And put them in a one bowl and drop it. Now, I'm gonna let that dry. And step two, would be to find another group of found objects. So I'm gonna look in my bag to see what else I have from the dollar store. Oh, 
look at this. I have a patriotic fan. So I'm gonna take the back side of the fan and I'm just gonna pour a little paint over the top of it. Come on. Ooh. Little paint in there somewhere. Maybe a little yellow. And I'm using the back side of the fan. Don't want to desecrate our flag. So it kind of looks like this. And then I'm going to mush it together like this. And I'm just going to drop it on my poster board. So it looks like this. Let it set just for a second. And remove it. And I have a nice abstract. So now I'm going to take this same flag that still has paint on it and I'm going to press it down again. And remove it. Ooh, that one looks really cool. And lift it up. Hey, they probably pay money for this beautiful abstract. So you don't have to use necklaces and fans. You can use any found object that you have it in your home and just dip it in the paint and see what you can do with it. So my beautiful Renoir Monet looking piece right here, I challenge you to do the hero art project. And now to turn the recording off, I'm going to take my gloves off like this and take this one off over it. Oops and just drop it in the paint. Now I have clean hands to turn my recording off and have a great day.